So I just came from the uh, the rally for Rodney Reed, innocent man on death row, literally innocent on death row here in Dallas, downtown Dallas. Met Roger Reed, uh, the brother of Rodney Reed. Met uh, the sister-in-law of Rodney Reed. And um, yeah, I mean, it, we really wasn't that many people, I guess, because not too many people in Dallas know about this case or not. But you know, I did a little speaking. So you'll see me posting some pictures on my Instagram and Facebook about it. Um, anywho, so let me fill y'all in. Because a lot of shit, I mean, there's plenty of documentaries on him. So <coughs> what happened was, it's a young 19-year-old woman named Stacy Stites back in 1996 was supposed to be going to work at the HEB in Bastrop. They live, uh, she and her boyfriend slash uh, fiance, Jimmy Fennell, lived in Giddens, Texas. And uh, apparently the plan was for her to drive Jimmy's truck to work at 3 in the morning, she, uh, according to what Jimmy said. She would have left around 3 in the morning. And uh, she didn't show up for work. They reported her missing. And uh, they found her body. No, they found a truck first. They found a truck that she was supposed to have been driving to work at a high school, at a local high school, in a parking lot. And, you know, and then, not too long after that, they found her body somewhere in the Lost Pines in Bastrop. So, <clears throat> what happens is, this investigation was a setup from the start. I learned about this case watching this show called Dead Again on A&E. Actually, I saw it on Hulu, but it was on, it was on A and E. And what happens on that show is they get like uh, some random investigators, some new investigators, to reinvestigate old cases that have already been solved to see if they come up with the same result. And this is one of the cases that I saw. It was based in Texas. I watched it, and I watched the uh, the investigators literally implicated. They they like pointed out what was wrong with the investigation from jump when they said that they the investigators did not search the apartment that Stacy and Jimmy lived in at the time I knew it was a setup and then they said not only that they said he was a cop so I was like yeah they covered that up and then they go on to say then it comes back back that the investigator Rocky Warlow gave the truck that Stacy was supposedly transported in, her body, they gave it back to Jimmy the next day after her body was found. And he sold it immediately. And that's the crazy part about it. So that right there says set up. Set up. You know, why would you not search the apartment, first of all, when you know that was the last place that she was seen alive? Why would you not do that? They didn't do it because they're covering for their buddy, Jimmy Fennell. Everybody knows that. Everybody in Bastrop knows that Jimmy Fennell did it. But, I mean, I can't go through the, all the details in one video because I probably don't have enough room on my phone. But either way, there's plenty of documentaries on YouTube about Rodney Reed and his case and how he was framed and set up by Bastrop police and Giddens police. And now Jimmy Fennell is actually on Facebook out of jail. He served 10 years for kidnapping and raping a woman in his custody when he was a Georgetown police officer. But I'm pretty sure he got away with way more than just that one rape. So, because there's plenty of reports, things that didn't, that got reported, but nobody implicated him or held him accountable for none of his crimes. So, anywho, he claims to be an ordained minister. He lives in Granger, Texas. Don't know, please, nobody try to attack him or nothing like that. But anyway, Rodney Reed is on death row. He's running out of time. We're trying to rally for him, get everybody rallied for him, and sign the petitions and stuff, call the governor, because the DA is not going to do anything. He's a corrupt asshole, too. His name is um, Brian Gortz, or whatever, however you say his name. So... <laughs> So they're not they, they don't want to test the DNA or nothing. They didn't test the the murder weapon for DNA, the belt that she was strangled with, all of that. It's just ridiculous. So if you can uh you can find a petition online, all of that. 
Uh, I'll probably put it in my uh, description if I can, uh, when I can find the links and stuff, and uh, just edit it and all that. But other than that, um, deuces and trays. I said it. If you fuck with me, fuck me. If you don't, fuck you. Free Rodney Reed. He's innocent. Jimmy Fennell is guilty. He killed Stacey Stites. One.